Now back to the big story. PSUs are seeing a mind-boggling, uh, you know, fantastic rally. Hormis joins in with the details, the kind of up move that we've seen over the last one year. Hormis. You know, I was just speaking about IRFC a few minutes earlier and instead of IRFC, I guess the other PSUs also don't want to feel left out. So even they are seeing a stellar move in today's trading session. But what has happened is, now here we go, RVNL, IRFC, IRCON, HADCO, REC, PFC, SJVN. These are the seven stocks. What's common in all of them? Over the last 12 months, all of them have tripled in value. Now, that is the kind of move that we have seen in these PSUs. And RVNL is leading the pack today. It's almost 17% higher. The market cap of IRFC today crossed 2 lakh crore rupees. And as a result of which, that is now more valuable than almost 40% of the Nifty 50 constituents. Now, how much does the government own in this? But before I get to that, now the stock like Ireda also, the stock is now at around 130 or nowhere else you would see a stock within 40 days of listing, 4x from its IPO price. That's Ireda for you. Now, how much does the government own in all of them? IRFC, they still have around 86% stake there. Uh, SJVN, they still have around 81% stake. So you need to be careful in all of these names because the float in the market is very less and as a result of which the move on either side can be extreme, whether it be upside or downside. They still own around 72% in RVNL, around 50% each in REC and PFC, which is now even then it's around 70, 60 to 75,000 crore rupees, the entire government stake. The uh, stake that they have in IRFC is now almost 2 lakh crore rupees. And as a result of which the PSU index as a whole that is now up around 6% in the month of January it was uh, carrying on from where it left off in November and December for both those months of 2023 the index was up around 15% each and the current market cap of the P overall PSU market cap is close to 60 lakh crore rupees which is an addition of almost 25 lakh crore rupees since the start of 2023 well PSUs were the theme of the year in 2023 and looks like they're just carrying on from where they left off the last time around. <clears throat> Normas, uh, I remember in previous link, and correct, I don't know, if, uh, maybe I'm mistaken, you looked at float, uh, free float as well for some of these names, etc. Uh, I don't know if you have that ready with you, but uh, some of them have pretty low floats as well. Yeah, that's exactly what I mentioned. In, in mm. companies like IRFC and in SJVN, they still own around more than 80% stake. The earlier ones were relating to PSU banks, where the, some of the PSU banks where the government still owns more than 90% shareholding, and which is why some one needs to be careful while they invest in these names because the move on either side, whether it be an upside move or a downside move, can be extreme. Even in Ireda, the stock, the, the, there is enough float because the government is compliant with minimum shareholding norms, but still, it's only 25% float in the market compared to other PSU names. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Prakash Thiwan is with us on the show. Uh, Prakash, uh, you know, these are companies which are growing well. The order book is... Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all our top stories and news updates, follow us on our social media platforms.